So many guns. We got so many guns. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny on Death for Above. Wednesday, which means it's arms day. I took her helmet off. She is seducing you with her pick hammer? What's that little hammer? That looks like the hammer from the Shawshank Redemption. You know the one? Anyway, we're going to do arms day today. And uh, we're going to take a look at the guns Banshee's got for us to choose from. We've got five of the weekly packages. We've got the Foundry Orders that he sold last week, and we've got four bonus packages. We're going to get into all of those right now. But first, let's take a look at the Field Test Weapons and remind you, if you have the Nightfall buff, you can get four Field Test Weapons done, and it'll take you a whole rank up. <clears throat> and so if you're looking for free guns, free max light guns, uh, do these guns right here. They're pretty easy. They're pretty fun. Uh, it's a change of pace. You can relax. Do them while doing patrols and bounties and leveling gear and doing stuff like that. So, <clears throat> nice little time to take a break. And uh, they're pretty easy. Uh, let's see the test AC1 hand cannon used against Vex targets. The test day from Haka used against Crucible. Those Crucible guns, the Crucible pulse rifles, are pretty easy. Uh, big mags, they're pretty stable. They're not too hard to use. I can get them done pretty easily. I wouldn't take that in Iron Banner, though. You're going to struggle. <laughs> Low light. Don't do it. Uh, we got the Haka test day again for precision shots. You can do these two together. Uh, another Vex target, and then using the Crucible. This one's okay. Uh, I don't really waste my time with that one because you can get a whole rank off of these four, and they're pretty easy to do. So two Vex targets, a Precision kills, and a Crucible. And then the Sniper, if you're feeling cheeky and just trying to get maybe your Supremacy Weekly Bounty done or the Sniper Bounty done, something like that. Those are fun. You can do those, take them, knock them out real quick. But uh, let's get to this week's Foundry Orders. We'll talk about them. I have nine. I'm maxed out. We got another uh, super maxed out arms day for you guys. And uh, we got nine total packages to look at. And then we'll look at next week's Foundry Orders and see what's coming. Do a little predicting. Talk about which ones I like, which ones I think are good for next week. And we'll uh, let's just get right into it. So we got the Haka Judith D High Impact Low Rate of Fire Hand Cannon. I'm looking for something like a reinforced Zen Moment, Army of One, Snapshot, mm, Armor Piercing. That's okay. It's not bad. Uh, I've got a crowd control reactive reload one with some seriously ridiculous damage if you do certain things. But there's a reactive reload relentless tracker small bore. It's going to reduce the mag size, which I'm not a fan of on hand cannons uh, such as this. Such as this. Now, Outlaw's nice because the reload's pretty slow. I don't like last resort and small bore. There's small bore again. So if I was going to pick up a Judith, I'd pick up the first one. So pick up the first one if you're going to pick up the Judith this week. Uh, that is one of the uh, the packages that were for, was for sale last week. We got the Lewd Mail of D now. This is a bonus package. This is one I've been holding on to for a while. I'm looking for a specific roll. Didn't get it. So I want Head Seeker, Counterbalance, Hand Laid Stock because I know I like that combination. Actually, I would take Head Seeker, Feeding Frenzy, Hand Laid Stock because I know I like that combination on my Herja. So the Lewd Mail not quite there. We've got Army of One Rodeo, Injection Mold. That's okay. Uh, you need a little stability on this gun, at least for you, for me, for you, dog. Because it is a little unstable. It kicks up and to the left pretty hard. Uh, would call it mule-ish. So it hits pretty hard. It kicks pretty hard, too. Here is a counterbalance option with Danger Close and Reinforced Barrel. Uh, I mean, it's going to kick up pretty hard and pretty fast. Uh, Danger Close is okay. I'm thinking PvP though for it, so I'm not seeing the one I'm looking for, so I'm going to hold on to it till next week. Uh, but if I was going to make a choice, I'd get the third one, just because it has counterbalance. None of those are really that great though. <clears throat> and then, no and then, and then, we got the Jingu Kogo D, medium impact, medium rate of fire, shotgun, three in the mag, goodness. Uh, it's got some slow reload for having such a small mag. Crowd control, knee pad, single point sling, perfect balance, oil frame. I don't like it. Uh, you need a lot of damage and a lot of reload on that shotgun. And that one's just not going to get it. Uh, this is one of the packages that were for sale last week. So if you bought a Foundry order last week, this is one of your options. Ugh, hand loaded, okay, knee pads, not, no. Uh, let me tell you what I have on this gun that I think is really good. I have... Feeding Frenzy, Crowd Control. No, I have Find Around Feeding Frenzy with uh, Reinforced Barrel, I think. 
Let me check. Let's check the footage because this is a gun that I'm interested in showing you that it's kind of cool. So the Jingo Koko D, I have a final round, feeding frenzy, and then uh, rifled barrel. So max range on that shotgun. The final round, since it's a three round in the mag, procs pretty often. And then the feeding frenzy will give you that quick, quick reload. Uh, crowd control, full auto. Are they screwing with us right now with a full auto on that? That's stupid. It's a three round mag. You know, if it was final round, maybe. But crowd control, you're only going to get one kill with that. Like, one, and you're done. Crowd control is going to go away. That's 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 a fool. That's a silly gun. Uh, pick that one up if you want to. That was the best option. Moving right along to my warlock. We have three more guns to look at on the warlock. And let's just get right into it. If we can get over there quickly. What do we got? So, first up, we have loading the Haka Arminius D auto rifle. This is one of the packages available from last week and this is one of my favorite fun guns in the game. I do want a new one of these. I want a counterbalance is something of this. So I do have a focus fire version with crowd control focus fire rifle barrel that's amazing in PVE. Uh, so this focus fire right here, don't, don't sneeze at it. You'll get it dirty. Um, we've got focus fire, last resort which I don't like high caliber rounds, fitted stock, and small war, but last resort in PvE may be good if you're running threes maybe on the nightfall using this gun and you uh, need to run around, get kills, and save your team. Last resort may be useful, so don't doubt that. Small bore could be good, uh, but I like focus fire on this gun. It's pretty good in certain PvE situations. For PvP though, you want counterbalance, brace frame, I believe. Uh, relentless tracker, spray and play, high caliber rounds, hand loaded, and small board. Can you get hand laid stock on this? I don't think so. Uh, I'm just thinking out loud right now. Here's a better option: surrounded, focus fire, high caliber rounds, hand loaded, and small board again. Uh, that's a better option for a PVE gun. So I would say pick this one up and uh, have some fun with some focus fire. Because that 63 round mag is humongous for a focus fire Arminius D. PvP options are not here this week for this gun. So I would say if you're looking for that high rate of fire version of this gun, just wait until next week. Because that's not a good version uh, for PvP. But for PvE, that one's really, really good. The third option. Next up, the Haka Geharis D. A gun that I just want to pass right over. Because I can't find a use for it. Uh, the Judith D has more impact. And the Garrus is just kind of whatever. But anyway, we'll look at it. Danger close, reactive reload, speed reload, high caliber rounds, oiled frame. There's no range perk here. So I'd probably pass on that one. You need at least reinforced barrel because I'm pretty sure you can't get rifled barrel on that. So we have a relentless tracker, feeding frenzy, which is okay. Reinforced. So that one's pretty good because uh, you're going to get the reload with the feeding frenzy and then the reinforced. If it had, uh, instead of relentless, if it had reactive reload, I'd be like, that's all right. It's all right. So here's one with reactive reload. Danger close. And small bore. Hmm. Small bore is going to make that mag size too small. Uh, six in the mag, I think, is what you're going to get out of small bore. The second or third option, the best of the week of that one. Although I doubt many of you picked that gun up hoping it would be very good. If you did, let me know. Let me know which ones you like on that and if you have a good version of the Geharis because I'm confused with this gun. Next up, the Suros DIS-43, a gun that is excellent, excellent. I have a full auto version of this gun that I love to death. Apparently, it is extremely good. So this one, we got fitted stock, appended magazine, Zen moment, snapshot, and small bore. I like the snapshot. I like the Zen moment. Fitted stock or appended magazine would be pretty cool. So uh, big mag or good stability. Stability on this is already pretty good, and it is, uh, it's a cool sounding gun. So that's a good one. I like Zen Moment. It'll, I like it better on sidearms or hand cannons. Zen Moment on a scout rifle? I don't know that it's necessary. Uh, so here's another one. We have Spray and Play, Perfect Balance, Feather Mag, Reinforced Barrel, and Speed Reload. Speed Reload would be good. Let's mix that with Spray and Play and Perfect Balance or Feather Man. You get some serious reload on this gun. So bring that one to the end and just really keep firing. Uh, it's got the 57 scope, which I like on this gun. I like the 19 and the 28 uh, for Suros guns. Third option, what you got for me? Luck in the chamber. I don't like luck in the chamber on scout rifles. You got too many bullets to get through for that to be effective. So, a pendant magazine, which is not going to help you with luck in the chamber. You want small mags for luck in the chamber and reinforce. No, I'd go with the second one on this one. The second option for the uh, 
DIS-43 get that maximum reload. Maximum reload on the Suros DIS-43 for the fun. You guys ready for some bonus packages? No, that is not the waltz you see there. That's the icebreaker. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't buy that waltz from the Future War Cult vendor. So, three more guns. They're all bonus packages. We got the Kumike Tak, the Thessin, and the Herja D to take a look at all my Titans. So, if you're holding any of those packages, let's take a look and see what we can get out of it. Now, the Thessin is an extremely good fusion rifle. I like it. High impact, low charge rate, but solid, solid gun. Uh, it's got injection mold. That's uh, okay. Hot swap, underdog, danger close. Um, that's okay. I like hot swap, underdog or danger close. Uh, maybe underdog more so, but I don't think that's a good situation for that gun to be in. If you got low health, you're in trouble. You don't need to be using the fusion rifle. You need a sidearm. Uh, next up, we got hot swap again. Hand laid stock, accelerated coils, unflinching, and eye of the storm. Maybe I'm looking for something to give a lot of range to this gun because the stability is just not necessary. Uh, it's got really good stability as it is. Hand laid stock, it's good. Brace frame would be better because you can lose mag size and still be completely fine with this gun. Grenadier, underdog, brace frame. There you go. So you got a max stability. Thessin with a grenadier, underdog, and eye of the storm. I like Eye of the Storm on this better. Maybe Underdog, but it's kind of pick your poison here. Do what you like. Do it however you like. So that's probably the best option, that third option with Brace Frame. I like Brace Frame on that gun uh, a little bit more, but I prefer a range perk, actually. So something to increase range on the Thessa. Next up, the Kuma Kitak HD4. You need rifle barrel on this because it is a hand cannon, but let's see if we've got a good option. I saw a rescue mag luck in the chamber there at the end, so oiled frame. Uh, really just kind of kind of pass them by if they don't have rifled barrel. Unfortunately, the state of destiny with hand cannons, if they don't have rifled barrel, you're passing them by. Triple tap. Ah, eh. Rifle barrel, triple tap, grenadier. Triple tap on this, I would probably go with exhumed because I mostly would be PvPing with this gun. Uh, but triple tap, it's 9 in the mag, so you can get by with some triple tap. You'll get 12, uh, 13. You'll get 13 out of it. So, not too bad if you're hitting all crits. I don't know what you'd be doing that to, though. Uh, unless you were just the PvP god. Uh, so, that's okay. But the third option, uh, it looked like it had a little something for me. Now, do you have... No! God, that would have been a good one. Uh, rescue mag luck in the chamber with rifled barrel would have been awesome for PvP. Uh, every time you get critically wounded, your gun just reloads. So... Well, it's, I guess it's a chance. Maybe it's a 50-50, but that would have been a solid one. Right now, the middle one's the only one that's got rifled barrel, and I kind of don't like it. But if you want one with rifled barrel to play around with, that middle one, Kumike Doc, right there. Uh, if you want to wait, I have a really good one with Luck in the Chamber, rifled barrel, and it's pretty fun. So maybe hold on to that one for more week. Oh, looky there. Looky there. Ooh, looky there. we got some options going on here. we got the Herja D. With uh, Head Seeker, Zen Moment, Single Voice Link, Speed Reload, and Hand Laid Stock. Get that one right there, buddy. That's a good one. That's a real good one. Let's see if the second one is any better. So, what do you got? I saw Head Seeker Counterbalance and Injection Mold. So, yeah, that one's good too. Uh, I kind of like this one not having Hand Laid Stock with Head Seeker because uh, the Counterbalance will bring you up pretty quick. So, maybe even run Fitted Stock or Snapshot and use the recoil to move you from the body to the head because of head seeker so good options here two good options there depending on what you're looking to do zen moment may actually be a little bit counterintuitively not good uh, because a head seeker you want it to move to the head so uh, zen moment i don't know that first bullet to the body and then you move to the head maybe maybe a bounce and then it stays still uh, third option we'll take a look at it just to see what we got danger close Unflinching injection well fitted stock high counter rounds. The second, the first or second Herja, very interesting and fun and good gun. So I would recommend one of these two depending on what you like. Probably this middle one right here with counterbalance head seeker. That's a good gun. Uh, if you were holding on to that one for a while, pick that one up. It's pretty good. Next, let's get to next week's Foundry Order. We got the Army SD coming back. So if you want to pick up one of those Focus Fire versions and then uh, try again next week for a counterbalance, you get your chance. Got the Suros AR-41 mid-impact, mid rate of fire auto rifle from Suros. Good stability here, so uh, you can get a lot of different talent and perk setups here that make that gun a pretty solid PvP gun or PvE, whichever one you're looking for. 
Amelon Cositus SR4, the high impact low rate of fire scout. It's like the uh, Chaos Dogma. It's like that impact in rate of fire. So if you're looking, if you haven't done the Wrath of Machine and you're looking for something similar to that, uh, Cositus will do that. It's pretty high impact. Uh, then we have the Amelon 2 and LSR4, the higher rate of fire medium impact scout rifle that I love to death. Uh, that's one of my favorite guns in the game right now. It is a solid, solid scout rifle. And then we have the Suros PDX-41. Hadn't been around for a while. It's the medium impact, medium rate of fire pulse from Suros. Very stable as well. And uh, good options can be had on that gun also. So if I was only going to buy one, I would buy the Tuanella. If I was only going to buy five, I'd buy all five because they're all good guns. So that's your choice. You can buy one or you can buy five. You can't buy two or three or four. Because, I mean, if you do, what are you doing? So, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Let me know which guns you picked up, which ones you're most excited about, and did you get any god rolls this week that I didn't have or didn't see? Let me know in the comments. Always interested. But uh, come check out the Twitch channel. I'm about to go live as soon as this video goes up. And until then, and until next time, I'm Death from Above, and I will see you later. Come on, like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you like these videos. Because I do them every day. See you later, guys. See you, bye.